Thank you, Semler. That's right. I've managed to catch up with JKS here backstage before his opening matchup. And, uh, man, I've got to say, first and foremost, congratulations. The first Australian player to make the HLTV Top 20. Thanks. Um, yeah, I was a little bit of wondering if I was going to make it or not towards the end, just because it's not really something I was focusing on. But uh, over the years, uh, over the whole year, um, when you have people tweet at you and come up to you in person and stuff like that, you c it kind of gets like more in your mind. So, yeah, I'm kind of happy I made it. And... Yeah, I wish it was kind of higher, but, I mean, I'll, I'll take it. Yeah, you're there now, right, man? It's the first time. The first time you've broken through, and you've broken through on your own, first and foremost. So uh, before we start talking Counter-Strike, you know, this weekend, I wanted to ask just big picture, long term. Next year, if there was somebody else on your team who was also in the top 20, who would it be? Um, I mean, just judging off how we've been playing recently, I'd probably have to say Jacob or Liaz. Um I know Liaz cops like a lot of flack just from like his first performances when he first joined the team, but he had a hard role to adjust to. And I mean, the reason why we picked him up is just because we know how insanely skilled he is. So, I mean, if there was anyone to go off, it'd probably be those two. And I'm pretty sure Jacob was very close uh, to making it. And he also has a really hard role, which is the entry fragger. So if he makes it, that'd be like really good. But yeah. One of those two. I could see it happen. I could see it happening. Now, you guys are coming to Blast. It's your first Blast event. Uh, what do you think of the studio? Uh, yeah, it's really cool. Um, it kind of reminds me of like the old E-League kind of shooter. Um, it's just like really nice to have like a small enclosure and like everyone kind of like really close. Uh, it kind of sets like a different atmosphere. Right, yeah, we were just chilling back way. We're watching Midway, in fact, so uh, that was a good time, good way to warm up before this, this really all gets rolling. Um, how was your time off? Not just your own, but as the team. Do you guys, uh, are you guys coming in here prepped? Because we've had, we've had both well-prepared teams and then also some guys who took the chance to relax. Um, yeah, I think we all took the chance to relax after Pro League last year. Um, we went on break for about a month and then we came back to America, got kind of settled in because we only recently got our like place with uh, 100 Thieves to um, live in LA. So we kind of just had to get all that set up and then once we finished that, which took about 10 days, we came to Europe and just boot camped for that time since. All right, all right. 10 days should be enough for you guys to be fired up, I, I, b I believe. We've been boot camping for like two or three weeks now. Okay, all right. So, so um, Yeah, we came off break about a month ago, yeah. Cool. Well, you have G2 up first, right? And uh, last week, I mean, we had a group that seemed like complexity we're going to bomb out of. So we've had surprises at Blast already. Um, do you think that your guys' group is going to be kind of tumultuous like that? Do you think, uh, do you think that you have hard opposition? Uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, all the teams in our group, they're coming real like G2 and OG, they're coming in eager to win some games. Um, they had some good showings at the end of the year last year, so I think they kind of just want to build on that. And likewise, with us and EG, we kind of want to cement our place in the top 10. Um, I think EG are top 5 right now. Um, so yeah, I think our group is like pretty competitive in terms of like skill-wise, in terms of all the teams across the board. So yeah, it should be a difficult group. So your group specifically opens up with you versus G2. You guys will also open IEM Katowice versus them as well. So there's going to be, at least in the next month or so, a, a, bit, of a, a bit of a grudge match between these two teams. Um, is there any player there that kind of scares you? Is there anything that you're looking out for versus G2 particularly? Um, not really. I mean, we've played against all those players before, and uh, I think we feel pretty comfortable versus G2, at least in the old lineup. Um, I think now they have Nexter and Hunter, so I think they have a lot more firepower nowadays, but um, no one really scares me too much. I think we're all just really eager and excited to actually start playing again because we haven't had a match in a couple of months now. Um, I think there may be some little bit of rivalry between uh, Nexa, Hunter and Alex, our coach, because uh, they're all from Serbia slash Bosnia. Um, so yeah. All right, well, that's it, guys. That's it. JKS getting ready for match one tomorrow versus G2. We're going to throw this one back to you on the desk, and we'll see you guys in a bit.